more and more cars are coming without a CD player now. So we're gonna show you how to get your music onto a little flash drive. We're using a small little one, which is a Cruiser Fit. This doesn't stick out very far and uh, unlikely to get damaged. If you have one of these big old ones in there, you're liable to knock it and break it. The first thing we want to do is make a folder so we know where the music's going to end up. We're going to put one on the desktop just to keep it simple. So if you right click, click new folder, and we're just going to call it MP3 just to keep it simple. We're now going to rip the music using a program that's already loaded on Windows, and that's Windows Media Player. But we're going to change a few settings before we use it. If you click the Organize tab, followed by the options, then the rip music, we're going to go and find that folder we made earlier. We know it's on the desktop, and there it is, MP3. If you OK that, it will then be showing the destination of where the music's going to be. We're now going to change the format to MP3s. We know this plays in all cars. We're also going to put a little tick in both of these boxes. My vehicle can play the higher quality, so we're going to turn that right up, followed by the apply and the OK. If you put a CD into the drive now, it will spin up automatically. The first time you rip a CD, this other little screen will come up. Just put a little dot, do not add copy of protection, and tick the bottom box, followed by OK. As you can see, it's starting to rip the first track. We'll go through the whole album, and then it will check the CD when it's finished. We're now just going to double check that the fast drive is suitable for putting the uh, MP3s on. So um, we know it's uh, F on this one. If you right click that and click properties, you'll see it's already in FAT32. This is suitable for most cars. If it wasn't, you need to format it into FAT32. So you just click format, and as you see, the default is FAT32. If it's not, change it to it and do a quick format. Windows can format anything up to 32 gigabytes. Above that, you need a special program, so it's probably not worth buying a, a flash drive over 32 gigabytes. We now just got to copy them tracks over to the flash drive. We know they're in the MP3 folder, so I just need to copy them and paste them into the, the flash drive, which is F. Obviously, it may be a different uh, letter on your computer. We've just stripped uh, two CDs for this demonstration, but obviously you can rip as many as your flash drive can take. That's it, so we're just going to close that down and uh, eject that. And go and try it in the car. On my particular vehicle, the USB socket is located in the centre console. So we're just going to push the flash drive into there. And we're ready to play music. This particular vehicle, we control the radio by this uh, little uh, knob here. Obviously all systems are different. On this particular audio system, you just select audio, down to USB storage and it will play the first track that's on the USB stick. Obviously you can access all the songs you've got on there. On this particular one, you just select music, and then the return button, return again, and you can see any other music that's on the stick. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.